This is number nine on the practice problems for the star test. Which characteristic of motion could change without changing the velocity of an object? Okay, so <clears throat> what could change without changing velocity? You have to think about what is velocity. Well, velocity is defined to be speed with direction. So if you're changing the speed, you would be changing the velocity. If you're changing direction, you'd be changing velocity. Even if the speed is constant. So, for example, motion in a circle at a constant speed is actually accelerating because it's constantly changing its direction, even if the speed is constant. So, what could change without changing velocity? Well, if you change the speed, by definition, you change velocity. So we know it's not A. B, we'll come back to in a minute. C, well, it's part of the definition of velocity again, direction. And then if you change the acceleration, well, a change in velocity is the definition of acceleration. Those are the same thing. So if you have a change in acceleration, you are changing the velocity. That's just the very definition. So what we're left with is you could change the position of an object. So could you have, I mean, does this even make sense? Could you change the position and not change the velocity? Well, think about it. Here's a little object moving along with a constant, well, I'm not drawing this very well, a uh, constant velocity, okay? No change in direction, well, if I could write this, um, and no change in speed. So their speed and direction are constant, but clearly it's changing its position compared to some reference point like the Earth. Uh, it is changing its position, so that's why B is correct. This one was a little tricky. It made me pause, you know, so don't feel bad if you were like, oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, so for number 10, the graph below shows how the position of an object changes over time. And so it moves up and then it moves back. Notice it moves behind its original point and then it goes at a pretty steady pace somewhere else. So what's the speed of the object during that time interval from 4 to 10 seconds? The definition of speed is change in distance divided by the change in time. I like to show it with a triangle because triangles mean change in. It's a Greek letter meaning delta, um, which just means change. So the change in distance or position from the 10 second mark to the 4 second mark, we're going to find the point on the graph right here and here and find the change in the y values. So that would be this vertical drop the change in y, or change in distance. And then we're going to find the change in the time. That would be across right here. Perhaps we'll put it in green. So you just have to read carefully the numbers and remember the sizes of things. Don't just count the spaces and go 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3. It's not 4 over 3. You have to look at the numerical values here. This is 18 minus, well, what's that height? Zero. So the change in distance is actually 18 meters. And the change in time, 10 minus 4 is 6 seconds. So if we um, do this, oh, I just lost my thing. Um, you go 18 divided by 6, you get 3 meters per second. So the answer is B. All the other possible answers are mathematical mistakes a person could make on this. You just, it's really a slope problem. You might want to remember that the, in a meters versus seconds graph, a distance versus time, the slope is the speed. So if you can find the slope of a line, you can find the speed. So here, Number 11, the graph below shows the speed of a vehicle over time. Notice here the speed is constant in this time. How far did the vehicle travel during the first two seconds? So you look at 
how far? Well, that's a really a distance equals rate times time problem. So to find out how far you go, you need to know the speed. Well, just read it off the graph. It's constant. It's 10 meters per second times how many seconds you go for. Well, during the first two seconds, it says. So multiply that by two and seconds, and you get 20 meters per second. So um, my pen tool's not working. Uh, 20 meters, so not per second, the seconds cancel, and you get 20 meters. So the answer is D. Okay.